Good evening. It's uh, July 29, 2009. I've been thinking about this for a long time when it comes to gold and silver confiscation. I don't think, I don't see the government confiscating gold and silver because, one, they don't want people to buy it outside of the United States to buy it, uh, thus devaluating uh, all fiat currencies around the world. Um, so I think they'll avoid that government uh, the United States will avoid that, but they won't mind confiscating your foreign currency and foreign investments because recently I just saw a video um, about um, Ben Bernanke saying that uh, he did a swap agreement of uh, half a trillion dollars to um, get other currencies uh, and um, meanwhile uh, at the same time, at the same the exact same time, the dollar started to rise. So they used that currency to to definitely to uh, support the dollar. Now, when they can't do that anymore, when they can't do any more swaps, what's going to happen? Right? They're going to need what the government's going to need in order to defend the dollar is not gold because nobody wants that, right? Or silver. What they're going to need is foreign currency. And currently, there's probably approximately um, 2 or $3 trillion worth of investments outside of the United States that, uh, that are owned by uh, Americans. I mean, that's a huge number to, to call back in and, <laughs> and uh, return back to dollars, right? So there you, you'd create a huge, uh, you'd probably even create a huge liquidity problem for um for central banks um, to get dollars in order to um, in order to to, uh, to cover the, uh, the, the the cashing of investments, so it's an interesting uh, uh, thing. That's 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 something uh, a little piece of speculation on my part, but uh, I think it's real. I think it has merit. Uh, what do you think? All right, post in the comments below.